Hey curl friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Jazz and I'm back with a really quick video on this braid out. I'm not sure how I really like it, but we'll get into that in a second. As always, I'm starting off with freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. I'm gonna be using the Bailment line by Adwoa Beauty, the curl defining cream. I did a video on these products before, but if you wanna check those out, feel free. So as always, I'm going to be really making sure my hair is fully coated. So I'm gonna be using the curl defining cream first and I'm gonna push that all the way through. And then I will use the gel on each individual braid. But always make sure with any products that you're using, no matter the type of products that you're using, that you are really making sure each strand of your hair is coated, especially for a set, mainly because you don't want any pieces that are gonna be dry, or especially if you're using a product that's specifically for frizz or something like that, you don't want you know, a section to not have any product on it and it'll be a mess. So I'm going to be using the curl defining gel, as I mentioned, um, and I could link the videos that I've done on these before, but I also went in more detail about the, the ingredients of these products and this line, if you want to check those out as well. So I'm going to be using larger braids this time. I don't really know what I had in mind, but I said, I just, let's just try less braids this time. So making sure you keep each piece smooth as you see i'm smoothing these out you don't want to just wrap a bunch of your curls around each other to form a braid that is where a lot of people go wrong especially with wet sets so i'm trying to keep each section of the braid smooth as i go so that i don't have that outcome so I am just going to do a finger coil at the bottom. If you are currently transitioning and your hair isn't curling at the ends, this is where you could add a small perm rod to make sure that you don't have straight ends for a braid out. So that is something that I used to do in the past, but I don't have to do that anymore. So I'm just using a finger coil. So as you can see, I am trying to pull tightly at the root. So you don't want to have like a loose root and then a tight braid because what's going to happen is that section of your hair is just going to be like it's going to set in the your natural curls because it's not going to be pulled tight and i think i did run into that issue with the braid in the back but we'll get back to that but as you can see i'm trying to braid without looking and just take your time with this step because essentially you are setting your hair even though it is a braid you want to make sure it's very neat so take your time if you aren't the best braider just take your time like I did, especially, I feel like it's a lot easier doing larger braids. And I feel like small braids give more of that crinkle look instead of like a wave that I'm looking for. So take your time, make sure you stop and smooth. If you get a few tangles, you don't wanna just wrap a bunch of tangle hair around each other just to rush through it and get it done. The, the point of it is to, for it to look nice at the end of it. So the point of the braids that I did, the way I did them, I did two on the side and I did three in the back for a total of seven braids. Now the braid in the back, that top braid is where I think I went wrong. You see how kind of loose that is? And I didn't really pay that any attention because I was trying to avoid having parts being shown in the back. So I'm like, let me just do a nice big braid on the back. But we'll, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So. I'm really not sure if I'm sold yet, but I use a little bit of oil on my fingers for the takedown as with any style. This is the part where you really want to take your time because if you rush through this, you are going to have a frizzy mess. I don't care what products you used, but look at that shine though, you know? I always forget how I love the Bailment line because it's so good for your hair and then it leaves a nice shiny finish too. But this is a braid out, so... You know, if I could just leave it like that, I would have been fine, I think. But yeah, take your time at this step on the takedown, um, depending on how many braids you have, just take your time because the smaller they are, I feel like the more susceptible you are to frizz when you're taking these down, um, especially if you didn't have a neat braid to begin with. So just take your time on this step. I just can't stress that enough. I guess that's with any style on the takedown part. You did all that time setting it, just make sure you do that part right. Okay, so I I did spare you all with the separating because I feel like separating a braid out is it's self-explanatory. But 
I am showing you how nice these braids look as I'm taking them down. Now, when I separated them, I noticed that big braid in the back did not do me well. So as you see that big chunk back, you see, you, you see it, you see, you see the recipe for disaster back there, right? So the front looks really nice. I was really pleased. I picked out my roots a little bit, but the back, I'm not so sure. You know how some people just only show you the front, like, okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. No, look at that. I don't know what I, I think I should have just made it two braids in the back and kind of just fix the part and not have to, that one big braid in the back wasn't a good idea. But I feel like I do have really good definition. I don't know. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think next time I'm just going to do a braid out on blown out hair. So this is like later in the day. I kind of let it settle a little bit. I threw a headband on. And it wasn't that bad. But let me know what you think because I'm telling y'all, this is the last time you'll see me do a braid out on wet hair. It's a wrap. Because it's just never, I never know what I'm going to get. And I think it's just the frizz is just going to be there with the braid out. There's no way to avoid it. I don't care how nice and neat I do it. But let me know. But as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.